Welcome back to You Decide Podcast, the podcast where we provide the perspective you didn't ask for. Joined by my brothers, Jeffrey, uh, the also Paul. As is off sick tonight, um, unfortunately. No, nah, he's behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he was just about to speak into the mic. <laughs> but. Um, and we're joined by a very special guest, um, our brother, the man himself, um, George, but also known to us as uh, Ave George PC. Uh, welcome to the show also. Thank you. E- Thank e- you e- for having me. Good to have you. Uh, I've been given the um, the privilege <laughs> of introducing <laughs> our mate here, but um, I'm just <coughs> going to keep it really short. And this is the stuff that you can read about. We spoke earlier. Um, this is the only time we're going to mention these things. Nah, just kidding. Um, so hailing out of West Auckland, um, West Auckland's finest. Um, professional rugby player started grassroots rugby at Messi Rugby Club. Ooh. Played first 15 Messi High School. Mafia. This man is Messi through and through. Messi Mafia. That's a shout out to you. Uh, former, former, sorry, former Manusa Moore midfielder made his debut in 2010. A part of arguably the greatest <laughs> Manusa <Samoa> Moore team <laughs> of all time. That in is. In 2011. Um, take it. Take it. <laughs> but uh, a loving father, CrossFit trainer. <laughs> an educator, <laughs> a rugby director. <laughs> uh, boys, welcome to the show, uh, George PC. <laughs> oh, George. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Salsili. George PC. Cheese. <laughs> I don't know about crossfit trainer, more of an inspirational trainer. <laughs> inspirational <laughs> trainer. <laughs> life, life, life trainer. trainer. Yeah. Oh, man, um, also, thanks for for joining us. Um, I think for us it's a really special episode because you are our first guest. First guest oh, here on, um, on YDP, <laughs> and um, we're looking forward to the uh, Talanoa we're about to have uh, with you. But just quickly, what you been up to? I, I know you just flew in. Um, yeah. You're out so of Auckland. <laughs> business trips. <laughs> 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 so we just had a, a, a good trip to um, to Wellington. Um, we took some of our Fijian boys that they needed visas. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they Fijian boys to get uh, <laughs> I'm really welcome in a lot of countries. <laughs> so, yeah, we took our Fijian boys down there, and it was a good opportunity for us to also um, meet up with our old our old principal. Mm. Our principal now, uh, Glenn Denham, he's down in uh, Wellington College. Nice. And it was just to see their set up there that's um, with with Wellington College and Mia Te Lata and, and Puri Wink. Cool. So, um, it's just good to see guys that I've played with mm. and mm. played against yep. um, just give back to, to their community, the community and you know to the younger generation coming through. Yeah. So I see that a lot in, in, in a lot of the old players that are that have been there. Yep. Cool. Mm. Oh nice. Mm. I think that's a really um cool place for us to start our chat actually. Um and, and Paul you mentioned um South Sili or, or, or George's uh, West West boy, West through and through, but um so you, your journey does it start in West Auckland or does it start? No, it starts <laughs> in the beautiful Isle of Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> born and born and red, baby. Yeah. Yes. No, so I was born in Samoa. Yeah. Uh, Motutua Hospital. Eesh. And then uh, when I was three, I stayed with uh, my parents out of Lefanga Safakoa. Mm. Uh, well, my older brother Lemalu Tusi, he stayed out in Guamua with my grandma. So he went to. Oh. He was the mm. only one that went to primary school over there. He was saying that I went to primary school, but nah. Um, then we moved over. Dad, Dad moved over first, got settled, and then uh, we moved over. And then that's when the next one came along was Kenny. Yep. Mm. So Ken was um, the first New Zealand born here. Mm. And then um, we actually stayed out in Canal Road. We moved out actually we moved out towards um the sisters out in uh, North Shore yeah. mm. for like probably a couple of months and then Mum and Dad found a place out in out in the west at uh, 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 Messi and yeah. on Moyle Road. So um we went to West Harbour Primary School. Yeah. West Harbour Primary School and then from there we moved out to Hewlett Road up near near Messi High, um, and then we went to Messi High. Um, but a lot of my memories from when I was younger was growing up at Hiddenson Church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and that's um, and that's where my fond memories are, and you know, my roots are. Um, I think a lot of a lot of things that I did wasn't um, what would you say? Uh, I didn't really care about school. 
Yeah. 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 Always, yeah. Oh. It was probably <laughs> it was probably rugby church yeah. and whatever the, what we're doing at church and and you know my my church friends there and, and my brothers there and my younger brothers that are here as well. Um, mm. I think that's that was that was the start of my mm. journey. Yeah. I, th- that's actually a, a cool point. You you mentioned um, your brothers, and so I, I'm sure a lot of us are aware. Um, you have an older brother in, in Lemalu, mm-hmm. two PC, uh, as well as um, your younger brother Ken PC. And for all three of you to um, go on and play professional rugby, um, coming out of out of West Auckland, I mean, what was that like growing up with you know two brothers who were also playing rugby? Was it like a competitive household or? Yeah. Um, it was very different, eh? I think, I think with Lemalu at this at this, he was. Uh, Dad kind of put a lot of effort on on him, yeah. right? Um, but he was he, he was a very probably a more of an intelligent player, yeah. and mm. um, didn't really didn't really do as well in in the age grade levels, where um, I was lucky enough to do well, mm. right? And where Ken was different, he was yeah, just yeah. natural, but he didn't really like playing rugby. Oh. Hey, it was <laughs> like for Ken, it was just it came natural to him, right? Um, and and probably because he was good at it, he mm. was he was doing it, and probably because his brothers were doing it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I felt. Um, yeah. and yeah, the pressure was probably on me mostly from from old man. Right. Um, and which which I felt yeah uh, was probably the difference of me making it early. Um, that that pressure I kind of dealt with it. Yeah. Dealt with it better. Yeah. Right. Um, but. Yeah, I th- I think th- in, in terms of those kind of things, um, Tus was always the older brother, mm. you know, and uh, I look up to him, but we never had a relationship back then. Mm. Right. Hey, I really, really didn't have a relationship, and that was because he saw me still as this young five-year-old that yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could bully in that age. Yeah, so so then it became me and Ken was a lot closer yep. um, growing up, and then even... Going into to high school and playing high school together, that's when we first played played together. You know, he was playing first day rugby and he was year ten. Mm. You know? Yep. This um this dark chocolate man on the <laughs> <laughs> can, can, you on the yet, you're can you confirm is he like a hundred percent salmon or like a little <laughs> bit? <laughs> Wow, he's <laughs> called Kid for a reason. Maybe, uh, he's got those Kenyan jeans. Bro, he's, <laughs> he's got the speed for it. He's got hey, the speed Spiak, for we it. need to get him on the pod. We need <laughs> to get him on the pod. Can you wait for you? Yeah, but um, you you talked about the expectation of um dad on mm. on you, um, and you felt like it was more on you just based on how you were coming up as a rugby player. But what was it like in, in general, like um, living out west, like early. Um, what was that eighties or late eighties, nineties, yeah. um, growing up out west and just like you could say it's a little bit of the old school kind yeah. of kind of way. Mm. Uh, what was that relationship with your dads? And you would see all the other boys too and their dads, like Yeah, and it was oh, like mom and dad were the biggest supporters, eh? So they would take us to everything. Mm. And you know, the whole old say of like you know, you're don't waste the gas money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it was, um, uh, and, and like even my uncle, Uncle Leoka, mm-hmm. because there was three of us playing at the time, you know, one will play at 9.30, one will play at 10.30, we might play at the same time. Mm-hmm. So it was split. There was mm-hmm. only two cars. So then my uncle would take probably two one day mm-hmm. and then my dad would take Ken and then to, to my game. Um, yeah, and I think we knew when we played bad, yeah, because yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. get no fishy chips. <laughs> <laughs> the silent treatment when you yeah, go in yeah, the car, yeah, yeah, yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of more pressure of for them was was you know we're gonna put this time into you, mm-hmm. you know, um, don't waste our time. We're investing time. We're investing time. Yeah. We're investing we're investing time. time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which you know for them, it um it paid off well, eh? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's cool, man. Um, back in season one, we talked about the power of your habits, mm. right? We talked about the power of your habits and hearing you grow up with your your brothers and the expectations that you got from your dad as well. Mm. Um, what are some of the the habits that you picked up early that obviously made you who you are now and made you the professional rugby player? 
I think um, the work ethic, mm. um, my old man, hey, right, and even uh, I think my mum as well, because they taught us early, you know, about hard work. Dad was always working. Mum, mm. mum will get us well, we were cleaning the. She was a cleaner, you know. And then we ended up um, cleaning the school. Yeah, mm. because she was cleaning our, our primary school, and mm. like we'll do the spring cleanings and. You know, kind of taught us humility as well. Right. Yeah. You know, um, going in, you know, you you know, you you're trying to hide from mum because she has to clean the classrooms, and <laughs> you're like, oh, your mum's a cleaner, eh? yeah. oh. and you're like, you're yeah, trying yeah. to hide. Yeah. 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 back yeah. there if you're yeah, faking yeah. your heart out, yeah. nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and that kind of stuff, you know, taught taught us, you know, what, to be grateful for what we have got, mm. eh? and that um, you know, we're we never had money, right? But we never felt it like like we yeah. didn't. Well, yeah. what was um? I guess you could say like you you really came from you know a humble, or well, humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. <laughs> humble <laughs> humble <laughs> beginnings. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but h- how do you think that impacted you and and kind of shaped you to, yeah, I guess become the the man you are today and and the professional, um, athlete you went on to become. How how did those experiences like you know helping your mom clean and and seeing dad work every day i think it was just um parents my parents shared a lot of love mm. like but never like my dad was never a affectionate person yeah right like, yeah, like you would never say i love classics i'm yeah. on dad <laughs> but there was like you can feel the like the, the gratitude when when you do something mm. when you do something good or, or you know it's the Yep, the nod. Mm. Yep. You get the nod, or um, yeah, you you get probably a compliment in a different way. Mm, compliment right. in a different way. <laughs> yep. That kind of stuff is like, oh yeah, I love you, Dad. Thanks, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah. And, but Mum was always the person that was will, will show you the love. Yeah, yeah. Show yeah. the love. And I think um, for me as a parent now, yeah, um, those kind of values that that, that my parents showed, um, you know, I try and implement it in, in, in my marriage and, and with my kids yep. and that, but those I think those are the things that help my character um, in my professional career because I've mm. had some ups and downs yeah yep. like I've had some of those times with in terms of injuries mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I had that support of family and my brothers at church you know and then my friends um, oh I kind of kept those circles real Close, real yeah, small, yeah. Yep. small yeah. real small yep. hey, real small and that was my church family my, my family and and I think you know through those injuries and that I never really felt it as bad yeah right. because yeah. you had that support really, yep. yeah so that that's um that's actually something we've talked about previously on the podcast too eh? and we and we looked at like surrounding yourself with good people yep. um and we this was quite early on in, in season one but like just listening to what you're saying and and the discussion around like your family um your your church family yeah, and, and your friends and how you kept those small mm. i guess in a sense you kept them small because you you knew the impact that they had on you and yeah. how did they yeah so like how how did those relationships and, and those um connections you had in, impact you and i think because you, you spend so much time with them mm. hey, right. so that's and then when you're in i would say when you're in the and and like or on TV and you know you don't know who's 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 um who's fake and who's right. real yeah. yeah yeah but you know these people are real yeah because then I hated being called George yeah mm. like you yeah. know and then when, when my when my church friends or my church family or you know used to say hey George yeah I'd be like hey, I'm not George <laughs> <laughs> you better you better you, you better cut that out mate you know I'm, I'm here to you guys yeah, yeah, hey yeah, yeah. and that's what I think that's what kept me away from you know. I wanted to keep it separate, mm. and like you know, you get some people going, "Fuck, you're going back into the, to to the Sunday school and doing this," mm. and, but you're on TV and stuff. And this is like, yeah, it's like I, rugby's rugby's what I do. It's not who I am. Mm. Right. Hey, yeah, rugby's oh. what I do. It's not who I am. So it was just like I was able to separate that, and yep. that's the best thing. Yep. Hey, mm. I was able to separate rugby and, you know. <laughs> Being Army. able to go to <laughs> go to Mission B and play yeah. touch on the play, <laughs> go do that. At you. Like he was thinking, "Fuck, we got this training." He's like, "I don't care. I want to yeah. go to John's after this." Yeah, John, shout out to John Z. Uh, but also shout out to um, Chubby's old man. 
Yeah. Like he's still all around the rugby scene. Yeah. yeah. I've seen him on some Saturdays just helping out um your first of yeah. team and still just walking around and, and like mentoring the boys. It's honestly one of the greatest things to see. Mm. Um but my um is there a uh, I always wanted to ask like one particular memory that stands out with you and and your old man. Like coming up through the like through getting the, the beats like <laughs> besides <laughs> getting the beats and the talks like is there one um so there was one game so <laughs> <laughs> so there was one game um i played down in um hamilton but this was for uh, we played all the regions mm. Mm. honestly i had the most oh bro i was so off <laughs> <laughs> I was probably playing tag there, <laughs> can't I was playing tag. Remember, this is down in Hamilton. They yeah, said that's yeah. already driven us all the way down there. Yeah. Wait, can you explain all the regions just quickly? Ah, uh, so all the regions is like uh, uh, they pick, they pick the best, the best players out of from from Road of Royal up. A oh and then no. these two, yeah, yeah. so these northern region A's and northern region B's. So they pick a like a top 30, 32 out of all those schools, yeah. Yeah. thirty two players yeah. or 20, 25 players, and then and then so it will be the top it will be northern region A, and then there'll be a B team to northern region B's. And we used to have um, we used to have games against like Hurricanes, okay. Hurricanes region, and then also the southern region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so they'll do the same. So yeah. it's a top top school boy rugby. Yep. Yeah, that thing. But I went down there. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> so late. Oh. I, I don't know what happened that game, but I was getting, I was getting done there. Eh? I was getting done by everyone, yeah. leaking and trying <laughs> like, like nothing. And you know, and we would know? Huh? You know, and we would know they went on to play big professional back then. Um, so so that would be like uh, Daniela Moore. Mm. Oh Some yeah, piece. um, you I know, Asato Yava. You know, um, Kieran Reed, all those yeah. boys. Eh? Yeah. So, so not just any run of the mill yeah. guys, like yeah, yeah. Like, like, like actual yeah, those are legit. Guys. But like yeah. this was like this was this was the like the game yet you'd you'd want to play in. Mm. Yeah, it's like the Northern A's versus yeah, yeah. the B's. It happened to be in the A's, mm. so I was like, ah. Oh. Silly. And our bees was carving. <laughs> 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 hey, were you were you awesome. playing were you running at fullback then or were you still I was running wing? at fullback? Oh, yeah. oh right. Oh, you were leading in the tra- <laughs> <laughs> so I was, yeah. I was leaking in the high balls. <laughs> 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 I was doing those uh, the high balls and my banana kicks were happening all <laughs> so I was just I just had the worst game and the car ride home. Oh my gosh! You oh could drop man! A pin. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Normally, we'll stop somewhere to get something to eat. Yeah, straight. <laughs> straight. Uh, yeah. And, th- straight. and that was Sully, he didn't <laughs> talk to me for two days. <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, like, and yeah. then we had a then we had a color. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh my gosh, it was just you know I think it was a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. It was that disappointment. I just felt stink. But you know what was worse was that I needed to get some new boots. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed to, I needed to get some new boots. So my dad was like, "Usually he'll go all out." Just get yep. yep. Sully, I got the Gola boots <laughs> from warehouse. <laughs> you still t- honestly? Yeah. I got the Gola boots. That's how angry he was. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> 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 any boots? He's gonna have some my brothers and think oh, that is. Not uh, a lot of that boots. was a reflection <laughs> of, of my playing at the moment. I was with Gola boots. Oh, oh, no. Not that any of oh. that, that predators. Yeah, yeah was man. on the Golas. Oh, the Golas, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, that, that's that, crazy. And those are the ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I learned from it. Yeah. 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 Sure. I learned from it and I was like, uh, yep. yeah. yeah, we went on a tour to, um, what do you call it, our Five Nations to overseas. Mm. With the school, and then I happened to come back for uh, for New Zealand secret schools that year. Mm. So it all worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I was only playing one game yeah. with those goal yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were hidden underneath yeah. the bed. That's why you know <laughs> it's not the boots. It's not the boots. <laughs> it's not the boots. Not the it's the player. But um, follow up in, in contrast, eh? so that was probably the biggest disappointment, or you're saying, yeah, in in, in a performance in a game. Um, in contrast, what was it like coming home? Um, maybe you received that first contract and telling your old man, like, 
We made it. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Oh, so well, what was yeah that for that whole process of like getting yeah, so that it was, first? Um, so with the blues, hey, we used, they used to have this thing where um, bef- you you had to get contracted. Like you, well, there was no two three year contracts. You right. had to get picked. You had to get picked for the blues, a hey, or or super rugby, a hey. right. So they picked their best twenty five, and then the other. Probably eight players go into a draft pool, yeah. right? Mm. And that's how they used to do the Super Rugby. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. So then, remember, it was all done by regions, and then you'll get, and that's when the draft pool. Sorry, the draft pool. They'll they'll go into the draft, and then um, like Highlanders and all that can pick. Uh, yeah. And if it comes around, you haven't been picked. They can they can pick they you. Can and they can take you. And um, what do you call it? In that two thousand five my first year of NPC, okay, I, I got an opportunity real early because um, the fullback at the time, Andrew Whiteman, got injured like in mm. the second game. So I played I played the first game and I was on the wing. Mm. Bat off the bridge and I'm, and I'm up against um, Joe Rock. So I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. Wait, 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 wait. 65 kgs. <laughs> we were rocking up at 70 kgs and I'm like, ah, oh, man. Yeah. And then... Um, our uh, fullback got injured and then Wellington played well and then from that year um, I ended up playing with fullback and then we played we played Auckland in the semi again mm. and I think I, I played I played really well that game mm. and I think that kind of helped me with my chance of getting in the blues right so the manager calls you if the manager calls mm. you you're in oh, <laughs> true. The coach calls you unlucky yeah. <laughs> unlucky yeah. yeah yeah. so like uh, same thing you have to wait Phone call, wait, wait, phone call. And then... Um, Did you answer it like this? Yeah, so then... Um, oh, back then it was Nokia. The Nokia yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, and then... And Strawn called. Hey, and it's like, oh, you know, you made the blues. I was like... <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. my dad hadn't come home. Yeah. You know, hey. So then, like, you know, I was just telling him then. I was like, oh, I made the blues. And, like, I was waiting for my little son. It's like. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. Yeah. This, this guy put him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he was happy. I yeah. think. And then we had a, um, we had a gala that night. Uh, to I know that night. And, mm. yeah, that kind of stuff. And then I'll be, I was, uh, I thought, oh, man. You know, I'm, now I'm able to provide right. my, my family. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. And I knew when I when I made professional, I was gonna um, I was gonna retire, mum. Yeah. Mm. Hey, yeah. so so mum mum did retire. Mm. Yeah. Wow, she was able to stay home at that time with with BC. Mm. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, young yeah, at that yeah, time, yeah. and I'll also Shout Sonia. Out Mac. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so um, you know, she didn't work. And mm. We were able, to, and I was able to provide that way. Yeah. But then happened to be that year as well. Two made it. Mm. He was oh. in the Crusaders. Oh, true. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I think it might have been the following year, but he was he was drafted into the Crusaders. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that's that was, how old were you? Nineteen. Oh, just mm. out of high school. Just out. Of, yeah, my first year out was, of high school. Was there any um, I guess pressure that came with that? I mean, you're still nineteen. Most of they say men don't develop fully yep. until yeah. like 27 yeah. <laughs> so, so you're still yeah. Yeah. so because yep. so, I'm 25 right now <laughs> <laughs> so like I mean what, what was that like because you, you're essentially still a kid at yeah. that point well, I was like I rub your shoulders with, with like Doug Helm yeah. mm. Kevin Bialamu yeah. wow. my first my first uh, pre-season I was rooming with Doug Howlett and yeah, people are telling you, oh, Sully, you got to make a zipuki at this time. <laughs> right. Oh, Go rub his feet at this time. <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was ready to make a zipuki. He goes, ah, they're lying, they're yeah. lying. <laughs> but like, um, <laughs> I, even that year, I was just, I was just happy to be there. Yeah. Mm. Hey, I was happy to be there. And um, I, I only got to play one game. Yep. That was the last game. But I was just like, it was just learning, eh? Mm. Just uh, being able to learn from like Kevin, Milamu, yeah. Yeah, all yeah. these Mills all these greats. Nah, Mills was there. Mills had left. left eh? uh, yeah, Mills had, had, had left. So it was just like Issa Nathewa, all those uh, boys. Yeah. Eh? Did you yeah, catch Rupendi? Nah, nah. Didn't catch. I caught Rupendi. 
<laughs> when I uh, when I was over in Clermont in oh, France. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So we played him, and he was at probably like 120 kilos. <laughs> 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 we played we played Toulouse in the semi. Yeah, uh, that year, and like um, they were saying, we pin it out though. Target him. He's slow. I may score two tries, cut us up. I was like, Fijians. I'm telling you, they don't underestimate me. His Fijians are different, eh? Shout out to Vinny, man. Oh, well, I mean, we'll we'll get to that. (laughs) We'll get to your time with Clement, but um, just rewinding a a little bit back to your NPC time. Did you guys play a. um, This was probably. This was way before you debuted for Manu. Did you guys play a a game against Manu? Yes. Yes, yes. You did, eh? We did. We did, we did, and I was. That was it. That's the first year. Yeah, you just yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I just just made it. Who, who was yeah. playing for Manu back then, or like any any uh, other? Alessandra. I marked Alessandra. <laughs> I was on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> but lucky, you know, that day it was raining. Eh? Oh, oh right. So really <laughs> it was the real slide. Eh? Yeah, real yeah. slide and hold on to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever imagine like, looking at him? Oy, oy, oy. What the hell was that like? Oh man, I was. Uh, uh, I was just honestly, I was drop lights. Yeah. <laughs> There's a kid coming out, and, yeah. but yeah, I never knew Alessandra back then. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I never knew how big he was in in, in, in at Leicester and that. Hey, I never watched it. Yeah. So, um, but all I saw was just, just this beast, yeah. massive. I think we beat them. So I think we beat them. Yeah, by like two points. That would have been an experience, eh? Well, yeah. Is this that 05 team that Jonah was in? Jonah was in 06. Oh, so you... Yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that like? With the legend himself? Wait, it was different. He was... Man, he was the man. Like, there was yeah. an aura about him? Yeah. It's just about like being into himself. <laughs> I think... I think the professional side of Jonah in terms of his work ethic. Mm. Hey, like... He trained the house down, bro. Mm. Like, you'll see him, like, before anyone else. Right. He was training. You know, he'll do extras... It wasn't the journey of old, uh, mm. like you know, growing up, Everyone's growing up, to know yeah. <laughs> but like he still had that work ethic, right? Hey, well, mm. you see probably some of his clips in that are like back in the days when Just he's on the Swiss over, ball yeah. and he's got like fifty kg um, dumbbells mm. doing like yeah, twists yeah. and all oh. that. You're like, you know, it was just. I think it was just as a habit for me. It just right. became routine. Yeah, mm. just training yeah. hard. Did that rub off on you? Did that seeing Jonah work that hard? That, that um, at that like time, nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he was happy to be there. At that time, nah. Right? At that time, nah. Year old, you're just like, yeah. Nah, I'm just happy, I'm just to like, be I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care. Like, Jonah, you using those gears? Yeah, uh, <laughs> 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 it was still like you know, yeah. Still, right, still did. You like, I'm just happy to get the gears and train and you know be a part of it. Eh? I'm, I'm curious. Were you? always confident you're going to make it to you know obviously um finishing from messi then making mpc then making blues were you confident you were always going to make it because i know especially in our society today a lot of like young men they lack in confidence mm. right and i was just I, i'm curious to know what your confidence level was like mm. going into each season and like carving up because you made it that far Mm. Automatic key. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wasn't confident at all. Mm. Nah, um, I think when I left school, like I was to school team, my lunch play rugby mm. and chase girls. That's what it was. <laughs> right back then, eh? Yeah, you know that's what it was. And then um, when I left and I finished, I didn't know what to do. Mm. I ended up going work with my dad. Uh, ABB, ABB with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, Shout out DJ Fix. DJ Fix. <laughs> um, so I, I worked there for about three months, and, and it was doing five to five. How no? <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> How no? I was like, this no. Not this hard money. Yeah, I think I think that experience as well, because mm. I was, you know, I was able to see what my dad does mm. hey, on a yeah. daily basis. Right. Like being able to go to work five to five, mm. hey, and then um, you know come back home, you know, and then be back up there again. Um, 
and I was I saw it and then but I was doing like five and then I'll go do seven trainings and yep. then I'll come back and then that kind of stuff and I was like bro I was I was, I was uh, Fess would come looking for me I was sleeping in the toilet sometimes <laughs> 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 hey I was sleeping in the toilet sometimes <laughs> but like um, and then like, uh, my dad goes are you, are you either take the serious or not are you like are you either go you know go for rugby and then so um that year i, I signed a, um i signed like a, a, a like a, a a pre-contract with harbor more like a um academy contract right. oh, yeah, yeah. hey there's academy contracts and then so i signed that and then i was able to train but they got me a job as well so i was working up at um the bar up at on paramount oh not paramount um near the millennium Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Dark Horse now? Yeah. It's called yep. the Dark Horse. Yeah. Yeah, so it used to call, it'd be called Pass and Punt back then. So I'll train in the morning, work there, and then go back and train in the afternoon. Mm. Hey, and then, so then, you know, play club season, and they do world club season, and then, you know, those preseason games for Harbour and all yeah. that. Um, and then that's, uh, you know, I went from there. I just I was able to get those opportunities, right? Hey, and I'll say I took it. Mm -hmm. I, I took it, and you know, from there, I was able to, you know, play a full season of of NPC, like play every game. Yeah, yep. and then you know, Super Rugby hit. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. it wasn't until the second year, hey, I, I started. I started to to get those injuries, eh? Oh, right. So yeah. I did my knee. Yeah. yeah. Then my glass shoulders came. Oh. Yeah, my shoulders. I had two reconstructions on my shoulders. Like those times were tough. Mm -hmm. eh? But I was, I was I was I was lucky that I was able to play NPC rugby and play well. Mm. I never really missed NPC rugby. Right. Eh? Because back then you had to play to make it. Yeah. Eh? yeah. It wasn't like you got these two-year contracts here. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so. Yeah, I think that was a blessing in disguise where I was able to play their NPC rugby but also club rugby. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. And then be injured in Super Rugby. Yeah, and around that time at the end day and then make it back. And so you, you spent um quite quite a long time with um with Harbour Air, but you also played some NPC in, in the Naki. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> yeah. Taranaki and, and um yeah, what was that like and how was that different from your NPC experience here okay, in uh, yeah. Harbour? I think um I well, cause I played fifty games here for Harbour, eh? So yeah. I was like it became uh um, I felt like I was uh, I was being complacent. Uh, eh? oh, and yeah. how like with everything. Right. And I needed a change. Yep. Yep. And then um at the time me and Jess were just studying. Mm. And so, um, you know, I, I asked her, I said, you know, turn it off from me this money. Hey, and he was like, oh, what, do you think it would be good for you? I was like, yep, I needed it. Yep. Because I was just coming back, back from my second my second shoulder reconstruction. Right. And it's probably the biggest I went. As a player, I was I got up to like probably 100 and... 105 Ooh, kilos. That's about me now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is me talking when I was I was playing blues at 88 kilos. Right. Oh, hey, so that's a massive yeah, yeah, gain. That's huge, eh? yeah. So I think uh, moving down there, it was a growing up experience. Mm. So, so like I was able to go into a new environment, um, cook for myself, learn how to cook for myself. Mm. But it was all on me. Hey, mm. It was all on me to, okay, make a difference and you know now this is time for you to kind of revive your career mm. if right. I always say the right words um, yeah and so that time there the Naki was mean yep. yeah hey, it was, well, was really good yep. we stayed near the um, stayed near the stadium right. hearty supporters hearty yes mm -hmm. yeah but we stayed near the stadium but then I had so I stayed in one apartment next to me was David Smith yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you <laughs> so me you you and then, like, and then the yeah. two houses uh, two apartments down was um, Honu Shoga oh, yeah. Yeah. and then opposite was us was um, a Wooly Ripia ah, yeah. Yeah. and Andre Taylor so, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah so so all us um, all us boys that came from different different clubs yeah you know we, like Kurt Baker just got there same time yeah, yeah. Right. you yeah. know all those boys from Manoa too um, yeah we stayed in, in that era oh, it was dangerous 
No, okay, I've heard that um, David Smith's a character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this guy's a character, man. man. That guy. They should say English is not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so he said some. I don't know, but he can pull some girls. That's all <laughs> I can say. For someone that can't speak English, it's the confidence. It's amazing. It's confident, eh? yeah, it's amazing. Very confident, eh? It's amazing. Where's he now? Did he end up France? in France? So he's still in France. He's married to a French girl. Yeah, hey. And like, you know, oh, man. he's married to a French girl. He's got a couple of kids there. Yeah. Still, man. his French is like his English. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he stays real sideways. He speaks to him and he speaks back in his broken English. You know? oh, yeah. 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 yeah but uh, it was fun. It was fun. How long did you spend in Anaki? Two years. Two years. And then you went back to... And then uh, nah, so oh, from there. I um I went to I went to the Neki and then um oh, from the Neki um I signed with Northampton, ah. but that was in that time it was like six months until I started at Northampton, right? And in that six months I became a mir- I got a miracle joker for Clermont, for on in, in France, mm-hmm. so then I went to Clermont. And then um, I played, probably only played like five games for Neki when I came back from Clermont. Because mm. uh, then that was World Cup. Um, World that was Cup, World Cup year, eh? Yeah, yeah 2011. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But before we go to, to the World Cup, so prior to you going to Clermont, you've already made your Manu debut, right? Yeah, 2010. 2010. Um, and I think that was, was that the, was that the Pacific Nations Cup yep. you made your debut? Yeah. Um, what was that like, like, you know, pulling on the Manu jersey for the first time and was it oh like w- did it happen did it go how you thought it would go as far as like you know this was a part of your dream or was it one of those things that was just presented to you and you kind of took the opportunity um I, i'll be honest i i, I kind of chased that like like every young player you kind of chase that black jersey mm. right hey. there, yeah. and um i chased that black jersey and i was just like um, the opportunity came up for Manu. I was like, I want to play. Mm. And so he took to dad, and he goes, "Yep, go." Yeah. And then, um, well, funny story, you know, get get there for the Manu. Remember the sevens? They just won it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, with well, yeah, um, well, well, right? right? They just go won to. it. Yeah. So with yeah. you, you, <laughs> you, 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 that uh, one of my boys, one of my one of my boys, legend. So we ended up being on the same flights. Coming from New Zealand to Samoa, hey, this was me, Anthony Piranese, yeah, Paul Williams, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul yeah. Paul you Williams. know Paul Williams, Khan, Jamie. was Khan there, yeah? Nah, 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 later, nah yeah. Uh, Jamie Halua, those, yeah. like that was, we were the, that was our debut, Kurt like Hall, all of us, yeah. and we, we were going, we were staying at the same hotel. So they were doing the um, celebration. The celebration. We're at the back of the bus. This <laughs> 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 is like giving everything. We're at the back of the bus. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> not the extras at the back. <laughs> Imagine that, eh? Like, these guys just won the World Series. You got to cover with them. Just landed. Oh, and they're like, no. who are these guys at the back? <laughs> <laughs> Join the scene. <laughs> that, that, nah, that was. Uh, that was uh, we played Tonga. Yeah, yeah. We played Tonga. And then um, I think we lost that game. I think we lost that game. No, no, oh, we won Nepia. that game. Sorry, we won that game. Lost we lost, lost to Japan. To oh yeah, yeah. Then we yeah. had to beat Fiji. Fiji. Only had to um, like this is to win the PNC that year. Right. Fiji only had to to beat us or lose by seven points. Hey. And they win. And, and they then they won the um, PNC. PNC. So then like, we came back and and scored like three try out of forty. Costa oh Lima just, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he had a blind yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and um, Pisamino, the muff, <laughs> <laughs> chip kick, chip <laughs> kick, and bubble. And I was like, bro, this but, is just happy. it's just the gods are with uh, these <laughs> two out here yeah. marking. But they off that was off the back of those like that this team had some high, unbelievable yeah. form oh, in that so sevens um league, eh? yeah. the sevens World Cup. Ah, oh, sorry, the sevens yeah. series. But even yeah. that PNC, like when we lost to Japan. Oh, the fans say like, I'm Shaboka! <laughs> 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 like, I'm Shaboka! And then, because next week we will play 
Fiji. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we play Fiji. Yeah, he's playing Suva. They're the same guys. They're the same. Most of our guys are like, <laughs> go, Lomalu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, here you go. Like, That's how it always is in yeah, sports. That's, eh? that's how it's always. Uh, hey, our fans, like, honestly, <laughs> some more fans in the world. <laughs> the greatest and the worst at the same time. Oh, my. What a changer. What a changer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait, wait. And, and so you guys come you're doing the victory lap <laughs> <laughs> the victory lap you're tagging along to the yeah you're taking along like of that team uh, of that sevens team like who would you say is like an absolute character because i heard that w- wale mai is just on oh, another level wale mai. honestly i don't know how he was with the one who was half back passes <laughs> Love the guy. We yeah. use a legend. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Bala, it's, it's it's a, legend. he's sevens all around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he's sevens all around. Genies. But I think uh, for the culture of the team, hey, yeah. he's that guy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that guy. And um, I think he was the difference. Like, he, for him coming into the Manu that, that year as well, was so we had like Junior Bolu and we had, mm. you know, the young guys coming in, like, was Jeremy Sua, I think it was. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And Wale Mati was there, hey. And he was he was still doing his uh, <laughs> his drop kick uh, yeah. drop kick trainings and all that um, at, at, at training. But I think what he brought to the team was just just that that laughter. But um, what do you call it? I would say that real fasa more. You know, that yeah, essence yeah, yeah. of it. Hey. Right. Is, is, is that different? I, I always wondered, like. It's playing for the Manu, and and I'm thinking like because you're all professional athletes, it does, hey, you guys are all these these pro athletes coming from different teams. Like, is is the Manu itself a, as a team quite different as far as the the dynamic? Because you got that that Fatsa mm. more influence, eh? Hey, and like the way that we structure our team from top from, down, yeah. hey, it would be quite different from like you know like a Super Rugby or playing in the Premiership. Mm. Yeah, uh, I'd say the old Manu. Yeah to be like that yeah. hey, like when when Bailey Ma Bala and all that were playing mm, yeah. you know and I think the hierarchy yeah um, you know the old boys really looked really were the bosses of it yeah. right hey, and I think that w- I think that was the downfall of of the Manu mm. in ways because hey, um, a lot of the a lot of the boys coming to coming from New Zealand and all that felt discouraged yeah and felt right. scared to come play for the manu right. hey because that culture they, they 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 kind of um portrayed back then was um you know that the real i don't know uh, you old know like school the old school the sit old at the front school. of the bus ones yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then if you're the rookie, you're doing all this, yeah. but like it wasn't fun and games. Yeah, right. it, it was, was like serious. I uh, and uh, like the older brother telling the the little brother. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And some of these guys have come like have all this experience and they've come and played for the money. Right. Hey, so I think when I came in, um, those guys had left. Mm. Transitioning. Tra- yeah, mm. those guys had kind of left, and then um. The boys that took over, which was like Mahoney and David Lemmy, yeah, yeah, yeah. they changed Yo, everything. David right. Lemmy. Hey. Yeah. So they changed everything because they saw it wasn't working. Yeah. Hey, and they saw that um, it was wrong. Mm-hmm. Hey, in a way, it was wrong. And, they, and um, that's what every, why it changed that 2010, 2011. Yeah. Right. Hey. Because you know, a lot of boys were making themselves available because, you know, the enjoyment that they had when they came into the manu, well, you don't want to leave. Mm. You know, it was real brotherhood. Yeah. 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 Hey, it wasn't like, um, you know, oh, you're scared to do this, do this, because then you'll either get probably fussy from one of the older guys. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And not wanting to go into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, deep, yeah. but that's what it was. And, and then, I mean, off, off the, I guess, the back of the Pacific Nations, there you guys go on to like a, to achieve like a historic fee day eh? yeah, beating the Australia year, yeah. the 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 fo- yep. later on that year eh? it was following yeah, following year, year, eh? following um, year. Um, what was what was it like being a part of that squad um, and I think we we all know I remember listening to the commentary too and yeah they they were like keep going back to like the oh this isn't the Samoa actually that was the running commentary for a lot of, for um, a lot the of games, games. Yeah. it was like this mm. isn't the Samoa we know 
the the gameplays are a, a lot different to what we're used to and so what was it like being a part of that um shift yeah that well, especially that 2011 team yeah yeah, yeah. that 2010 team. what I was it like oh. man it was it was an amazing experience but also i think things changed then right because um i think we're we're growing with the times in terms of um the manu usually like the, the pnc was still on yeah. so you know for that australia game mm. the starting 15 they came early so we came early right, right. so we um and then the rest of the squad they finished off their game against fiji yeah that's yeah, right you know yeah, they yeah. finished it and we got they got fung it and they got wasted <laughs> yeah. right. that was the final way yeah. yeah but then it kind of showed like uh, we really wanted to prepare for this australia mm. game mm. Hey, and make a mark there so then um the rest of the boys came later the the bench and that came later but um we had a good kind of build up to to that australia game right mm. um and then we also had some you know, we had a we had a technical coach, technical advisor. His name was Scott Wismantor. Yeah, bro, he's the man. Mm. Hey, and like he's he's worked with Australia. You know, he's with the Bumbies back then. Right. But then he came and helped us, and you saw the high balls and all that that yep. was happening. Yep. Yeah, that was him. Yeah, it was definitely that was him. So that was the game yeah. plan. So I think going into that, um, and then, you know, the playing how we did, hey. Mm. It was like, oh, it was me confidence going forward, hey, yeah. to the World Cup, yeah, and even with that World Cup, yeah, it was a bit disappointing. The yeah, the way it was came, or well, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, I think just that whole whole experience of that year, but also the year following, yeah, right. twenty twelve was a big year because then yeah. we started like, you know, we beat Wales, we beat Scotland, all those other yeah. big teams, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it wasn't. Like oh, it was a big shock. Yeah, yeah, it right. just kind of became. It wasn't a, a building, big shock. Building, yeah. So we're able to compete with those tier one nations and not, not be like a massive shock like it was, before. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Just just back on the Australia game. Sorry, um, you know, twenty eleven was a big year for Australia. You know, Australia was at a high. Um, they had just won the Super Rugby with the Reds. Yeah, the Reds yeah. How was it for, for you guys? You know, to come into that game not expecting to, to to win that game, and pulling off, I believe, one of the biggest upsets. And most importantly, talk about the hits they have in that game. <laughs> oh, wait, did you guys expect to win? Or like, I mean, do you go into every game thinking like we're taking this? Um, I'd be honest. So, because like, they played the um the old game when Trevor Lutz and all that were playing, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, window yeah, window yeah. Sailor was playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, just bucket like anything game. that moves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what, what they lost maybe about sixty points. Yeah. And the one comment they said, "We are not losing like this." Mm. Of course, you don't go into games, you, you know, um, thinking you're gonna lose. Mm. Hey, um, I think, I think we we went in there prepared, you know, to give it a good shot. Mm. Hey. Yeah and confident that what if we were to stick to our game plan you know yeah, and i'll be chance. honest like everything bounced our way that day yeah. <laughs> like, everything bounced our way at what point in that game did you know that we have a chance like we we got these guys um i'd say i'd say in that second half when kane thompson scored yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, right, yeah when yeah. kane thompson scored it was like you know like uh, two for a pass where it was like hit the floor and that then say Lossi say Lossi picked that up off his feet say you Lossi, know, eh? and then gave it off to uh, George Dowers but those can eh? yeah. they pass it to the Thompson Kane Thompson the, the Samoan looking fella yeah. <laughs> hey, um, but like those kind of things bounced our way like right. even even you know um my try that you can never see. <laughs> you know, Did you actually put it down? Yeah, hey. no, no. Did you actually put it nah, down? Be honest, you? did you put it down? <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you be exclusive? Come on, did I you did, mate. Score? I did. I did. But what? like even that one, like you know, it was kicked across. I don't know where uh, my mate was going. What's his <laughs> name? <laughs> Who's the one that was scared of? Um, oh, oh, Rod Davies. Oh, Rod Davies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. So I don't know where he was going, but you know that and for kicking it. Hey, normally like something will, will drop it or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Just nah. in that little time. Yeah. yeah. So everything was going our way. Yeah. Yeah. And then I knew, oh, nah, 
we've got this and, and that that momentum is crazy eh, when it's pushing you because right. i feel like uh, in a standard you know international rugby game i mean i'm sure every hit is, is pretty solid as a professional athlete but yeah, to have that game. many hits yeah. in one game was crazy yeah, yeah. It's like everyone there was like one clip where they were going wide and every tackle was like a hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like but, but that was, but that was, a, that was our game plan. And they said you had to, uh, we had to physically beat them up. Yep. Mm. Hey, because uh, we weren't probably the fittest team. Yeah. Hey, but physically, if we can put pressure on them, they'll make mistakes. Hey, but I ha- had to be consistent. Yeah. yeah, we like no more. I say we'll probably be five minutes, <laughs> twenty <laughs> minutes, twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah, we're consistent, and then you yeah, know we yeah. start to lose gas. Yeah, um, and it's probably towards the end of that half, you probably see hey, they, they they score a try. Yeah, and then yeah. they do a kick. So now they're like ten points from where we're like nineteen points. Yeah, they're like yeah. seventeen points down there. Eh? Was that Digby's try? Yeah, of the scrum. Yeah, like yeah. The scrum. Yeah, 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 yeah. He scored just before half time. Yeah, just before half time, and then there was a um, that massive lock. I don't yeah. know. He scored in the corner the, 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 the just before. Tuus was on one that day. Oh yeah, he was yeah. On. man. Yeah. And that's yeah. when he first. Wise, that's yeah. when everyone like he came to the scene. Yeah, and everyone was like, Tuus. He was on. Like, Tuus like, was the well, the guy. We had penalties, and he was. He was slotting them so, over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but like that kind of stuff, eh? It, oh, it's it, it plays a massive part in, in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, in the game, just imagine, you know, you the how many games are you watching? You're like, oh, he's missed two kicks, yeah, hey, yeah. he's missed two kicks, and now oh, we could have been this right. these points up, hey, eh? yeah. Um, and I think us being up gave us the confidence to just to play, yeah. Going, yeah, just yeah. play, mm. hey, yeah. So I think it was a, if it was a lot closer, yeah. Um, I don't think yeah. I don't think we could have held out, but yeah, because it was um, the, the, we had blown them out of the park, we were able just to just to play what we saw and and, and have their confidence. Yeah, I think that um, one thing that uh, that I've remember quite well about that <coughs> whole win was um, later on. I mean that that was kind of the lead up for that World Cup oh, that yeah. year, and yeah. I think like. For a lot of us um, Manu fans, and I'm sure for a lot of the players too, it didn't go as as well as we had hoped. Mm. I mean, they they had a, some good showings, but um, and and like all you know, it was all heart, especially in that South Africa game, man. Oh, man, that's still some. Mm. Uh, that's probably the greatest loss. Yeah, like yeah. that was a for a, yeah. as a fan, eh, I'm I, I'm sure we can say like that was yep. a good way to go down. Mm. Like at least you were fighting, eh? Um, but then I guess the the backlash to that was like you mentioned already like our fans are really highly critical especially of the players Um, I don't think that we often understand what's happening in the background especially for a lot of you professional players Yeah, and I I don't think this was brought to light as much I I know because I have an inside scoop but you know for for a pro rugby player um, especially playing for a, a second tier nation where you probably don't get much, as much yeah. money as well like you know what's that is it hard to make that decision to leave your day job potentially risk getting injured yeah um you know to to play for 20 solar <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. just to, just to, to play for you know obviously yeah. a smaller amount and you're, you're putting a, a lot on the line here but then also being criticized quite heavily yeah. if you know that you don't perform me, yeah. yeah well what's what's it like kind of ha- having to reconcile all of that it's yeah it's, it's different i think um obviously you know i talk it over with jess about it and then go there was time when in that 2012 hey um my club didn't let me go mm. and then, and then do I, you have to ask permission when you leave so um they could say oh you won't be paid hey right. you won't be paid you won't get paid for like a month or whatever however long you're you're um you're, you're away for a eh? mm. um so and that's what happens to the england teams eh? they don't get paid okay mm. but you know if you think about it they're all right because they, they get paid 20 20,000 pounds a game yeah, right yeah, yeah. they get two thousand pounds they can afford primary. to yeah, yeah, hey yeah. so they can afford to mm. well we we're coming back we're getting paid 500 pounds a game right Mm, which is a thousand yeah. New Zealand, Com- you know, and then you gotta compare, and then you gotta weigh it up, mm. hey, weigh it up and go, oh, is it worth it? 
mm. eh? and, mm. and like like you said it's your livelihood eh? mm. um but you need those things um uh, for me i needed to play for right. someone yeah. Eh? yeah yeah like club will always be there yeah mm. when do you ever get to play for your nation yeah, mm. yeah. Eh? and i think and i also like when i spoke about um their brotherhood being in there and right. the team, bro, I loved it. Enjoyed playing for playing for the money. Mm. Yep. Yeah, probably the only times that I didn't make myself available was when my wife was pregnant and she was like, "Ah," oh, yeah. and then Ken had his wedding. Like those kind of times, yeah, right? Yeah. I'd pick. Oh, nah, um, I won't go. Yeah. But I would. I'd. I'd go to every tour that I was made myself available for. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, I. I think it took my because it's it's brutal coverage be and and. England, in England. Yeah. you mm. play about 34 35 games eh? and remember you're the you're you're the investment um, you know yep. they pay a lot of money for you and they want you to play in every game yeah mm. eh? and if it's like like I spoke about you know having my church the church friends and then mm. like that time away for the Manu boys was kind of my getaway from club, club. Yeah. club. Eh? yeah from club and then uh, so it was worth it yep right and then that new regulation 9 came out mm. where they you know the new regulation 9 rule where they clubs couldn't restrict you mm. okay oh, yeah. and also and so i made it in my clause for my contracts a eh, that um if any tours or anything i still get paid uh, oh uh, man you know, smart, smart move that's smart move smart yep yeah so that um yeah, no, that's cool. I, I I was just thinking about. I remember seeing that story. Did you guys see it a few years ago? Um, it was uh, Nemani Nadol. Yeah. He he talked about. He shared about what it means to play full Fiji to him. Right. And he shared the story about um a little kid in Fiji uh, as they were prepping to get to the cup, coming up to him and, and giving him money, mm. yeah. and saying like, "This is my contribution to." Um, you know, to help Fiji win, right? It's like you know, it's not a lot. It's not a lot, yeah. but like for him in that moment, he said like that epitomized what it meant to play for Fiji, yeah. and like the heart behind it. And right. I'm wondering, did, was there anything that um, to you really epitomized what it meant to play for the Manu? Any experiences you had, or because I'm sure, like you know, we said like fans are critical, but also they can be the best day. Eh? Yeah, especially when it's not just fans, but it's your people. Yeah, your people, mm. yeah, yeah. your family, and. What was it like, yeah, as a Manu player to to look out, like put the jersey on, um, sing the anthem, do the the siva tau, and then look out to your family and and your friends supporting you as as a Manu I think player. I think just the jersey, like play for Manu, because mm. um, you know, I I'd, I'd growing up like born in Samoa, but you know, I growing up in New Zealand, yeah. Mm. Hey. And then I'd play in New Zealand schools. I'd play 19s, 21s, in that yeah. black jersey. Mm. It never felt like I was a part of it. Eh? Mm. Right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And when I, honestly, when I played there first, when I played for the Manu and then doing the Siva Tau and you mm. know singing the anthem, bro, it gives you a different feeling. Mm. Yeah. Like uh, it's I don't know, but um, I think for you know when people say you play for the jersey you know when clubs and schools say oh I play for the jersey you know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah it's yeah. like yeah yeah whatever <laughs> 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 kind of stuff. yeah we yeah. play for the jersey <laughs> yeah. it's just a cool yeah. saying yeah. Yeah. this like when you say you play for the model you're like yep because yeah. yeah. this is the people like you said this is the people team yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're your biggest fans and also your biggest critics <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey but you know I would sit down any day with <laughs> any fan yeah. and just laugh and hear yeah, them yeah, joke yeah. about everything and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah I've, I haven't had any of those experiences mm. in terms of that but I think um, just just that feeling of putting it on someone, me. Eh, um, and then feeling like oh yeah this is this is who I am eh, yeah how, this how, is who I am. how cool is that because um, I'm sure we all share that same experience of like you know we're, we're all born and raised here in New Zealand and we call Aotearoa home but that um, you know, there's nothing like supporting yeah. the Samoan. Like yeah. if it's Manu, if it's yeah. Tor, sure. you know, if it's any Samoan, like fighter or anything, like you know, there's yeah. there's something else that um, yeah, th it is like you you described it. It's a different feeling that you can't quite put your finger on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, you you go to the 2011 World Cup and and you celebrate another milestone. You get married, yeah. um, and then you you move overseas to to England, um. 
and end up at the Saints. Like you're saying, yeah, you, you had mm. signed six months prior to heading over. Um, and you, you spent quite a bit of time there. Yeah. And, and obviously, Kenny ended up over there with you. What would you say um, was that transition like for you going over to, you know, a, a new country, a new lifestyle, and, and even probably a new brand of rugby? Um, it was... Uh I think it was a good way of studying, you know, our marriage life. Mm. Me and Jess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, do you know what I mean? So we just got married. Two days later, we're on a plane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Facing the world together. Right. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, um, it was just funny because you go over there and then like everything's, everything's like, they, you have money to, um, you know, to do, get a car, mm. get a house, get all this yeah. kind of stuff. And it makes you realize, you know, what your parents went through. Mm. Hey, yeah. do you know that? You know what I mean. It's like, but they didn't have that, right? Hey, mm. they didn't have the connection that we've got, but also they didn't have the funds to do it. Mm. So how long it would have taken them to, to even just up, to yeah. set up like this? And we're going over there, and we're setting up everything sorted. Yeah, this, this, yeah. this. Here's your apartment. Here's your car. Here's your thing. You know, all you gotta, all you gotta um, focus on is rugby. You know, right. um, and then going there. Uh, it was it was tough mm. at the start. Eh? Mm. Um, it was tough at the start, but um, rugby wise, you know, it was it was good. Yeah, like I I, I played well. Mm. Like yeah. I played <laughs> I played well that year. Right. Eh? And um, but in terms of life and like you know, that kind of daily life stuff, it was it was tough. Mm. Just because it was, we we're by ourselves. Right. Mm. Eh? Yeah. But we did have family come over a few few times and then we had um Wuta come over you know just to keep my wife sane yeah <laughs> during that time but yeah. you know um i think you know when they say about your wives and the partners and and, and that holding um, it down holding it down man you mm. don't understand that eh? yeah yep. you don't understand that. and i probably uh, like you say i i'm all right because I've, i'm going to train yeah. you know i've got that times but then she's at home the whole, mm. yeah, <laughs> the yeah. whole day or uh, yep. you know getting stuff and back then we didn't like we hadn't had kids then we haven't had you know that kind of stuff so um uh, how she done it was uh, you know is that that real support i think right. for me mm, and yeah. that sacrifice for you to do your thing yeah, yeah, yeah exactly so, hey so yeah. and then but then we're also balanced like we're also trying to navigate through marriage life mm -hmm. we just yeah. started just Hey, yeah, so yeah. you know, I'm coming home and then like there's an argument here, and I'm like, <laughs> I, hey, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is what I want, yeah. <laughs> like, that kind of stuff. right? So I know what wrong thing, and then, but the the uh, I think the blessing is is that like you know, normal newlyweds, they you go to their families, hey, mm. right, and then. But this son was like, nah, no way to go with each other. <laughs> There's no way you ain't getting that 24 the hour day. flight back yeah. home. There's no way, bro. Hey, <laughs> so that kind of stuff for us, eh? Hey, we're yeah. able to, um, like, yes, we've been together for a while, but I think as, like, knowing each other as mm. people and how, what our ex are, yeah. hey, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, it helped big time, me, eh? And it, it prepared us for, you know, for us. Yeah, right. going into yeah. going into having kids and stuff. Eh? Mm -hmm. mm. And played some of your greatest footy. Eh? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. did you enjoy yourself yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. loved it. Yeah. Loved it. I yeah. think um, I think the brand of rugby that they played was good mm -hmm. mm. at that time. Um, also, I think I think um, I was able to express myself as probably a midfielder then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mm. I didn't really get to express it here. Mm. Um, but what do you call it? What was the biggest difference between rugby over there and rugby here? I think physicality. Oh. Hey, so over here it's fast. Right. Hey, it's fast. Physical, but not not like over there. Mm, hey. Over there it's real um set piece based. Hey. Right. Set piece based and it's all about okay. If your forwards are good running um uh, scrummaging boy. well mm. and like there are times that, like the scrum and the way you're waiting for the penalty you know and we'll hardly ever get the ball I'm like hey this never happens yeah, <laughs> like, why do you go for a scrum like yeah. that kind of stuff eh? or right. you know they're more just to get a penalty uh, you know that kind of stuff I, I think something that really um, that really depicts what, what um, 
I was talking about here is I went to watch a game. Um, I think they had um, you guys had the the Quins Harlequins at Twickenham. Yeah. Um, and these guys, what the camera doesn't show you is they pack down the scrum. Um, the backs are literally jumping up and down, <laughs> like because they're, they're so what? cold. <laughs> Because all they do is wait around for the ball. <laughs> and these guys are just like trying to stay warm. <laughs> Honestly. And they pack down the scrum again. And then they reset. And they reset. And like you said, it's like... And I was like, what the hell is happening here? Yeah. And he was saying, it's like, bro, we like don't see that much ball if it's if the game's up there. Yeah. You know? But how did that help your rugby? I th- like, like, I, like I said, uh, Northampton played a different brand of rugby. Right. Yeah. So that, yes, it was forward base. Then but they, it, yeah. they, they ran, they ran mm. the ball, you know, which which helped me. But like it also, I think it changed my game as well, eh, in terms of um, defensively. Mm. Eh. Mm. So uh, uh, my game kind of evolved evolved during my time there, in Northampton. Mm. Right, I had to, I had to wait because right. you know, I was starting to get injuries. You know, I wasn't as fast. I wasn't as you yep. know yeah. as 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 my first couple of years. So then I had to think, oh, how do I make myself, more, what's my point of difference? Mm. And what's my point of difference? So, you know, and the point of difference, I ended up being a defensive player. Right. Hey, so where can I make my most impact on the game? You know, mm. in these defensive plays, mm. you know? And able to still, still attack, mm. but um, I felt like the later I got, um, the longer I was there, the more I became a defensive player than an attacking player. Right. When I first started, I was a attacking player yeah. less of a defensive yeah. player. Right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Like that kind of stuff. I think we kind of saw it. Hey. Did yeah. you ever see yourself as a hitman? No. Like, did you ever... Like, you put on some... Because they started talking yo, like yeah. the hitman. Yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's weird. This guy is like, <laughs> so it's weird. Nah, but nah. Did, like, you ever consider yourself a hitman? Because you put on some you hits. You see some guys, uh, You're like, <laughs> you'll smack some guys. Hey. Nah. Who was the I'll, guy you hit twice? Like, Shane something. Shane oh, Gerd. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't really like me, eh? Yeah. Like but, like, um, I'd say growing up, like, I was always a good tackler. I could yeah, tackle away. Yeah. I could tackle and, and that was probably um one of my strengths was being able to tackle. I wasn't the biggest person but I I not not like hits. I was never mm, doing hits. Right. Just but clean just that tackle. clean tackle. I, I could tackle. Um and then like again, it wasn't until probably got into Northampton that kind of um it evolved to oh yeah I can see things clearly now yeah do you know what I mean the game and slows comes, down yeah, eh? and then it, it comes and then that, that experience comes in yeah okay now you can read a lot more yeah um you know that kind of stuff you know and I well, probably my favorite one is is, is Owen Farrell like yeah. now mm. now, yeah, you, now you see it it's like yeah, yeah. nah I've got him yeah, yeah you know yeah. that kind of thing yeah hey. do you wish you just like Need him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's yeah, he's he's been in the headlines, eh? Okay. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? that oh wait, um, what are your thoughts considering the fact that if if I recall correctly, you actually went before the yep. judiciary, eh? Yeah. Um, as someone with what was it? Was it a red or yellow? Was it yeah. a was yeah. a yellow in that? Was a Irish. against Irish. Ireland? Irish. I got 12 weeks and then it got down to six. So you got 12, 12 weeks initially and then brought down to six, but it took you had a 12 weeks. You had a, a clean record up until then? Clean record, yeah. And now, like, so based on that experience and now looking at what's what's happening and in the media yeah. with, with Mwala as well yeah. as Farrell, like, wh- where do you sit on this? Like, honestly, it's getting soft. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, that kind of tackle with, with Owen Farrell, like, I feel that's fair game. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like we're we're kind of um, we're over analyzing things, mm. right? I, I'm about blatant mm. high tackles, yeah. like yeah, this right. is like <laughs> Fritz Lee on <laughs> Hamilton, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that kind of tackle, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Like those like kind of things, classic. right? It's like Yo, pull that one up, me <laughs> right. hey, yeah, you that. know, <laughs> you know that kind of ones, hey, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, or like you know things where it's um. I, even in the Japanese games, you know, the two red cards that they got mm. for the Samoa thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it was in the head, but some of them are like, you know, oh, I feel like that's part of the game. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's part of the game. When you're going in, like, 
blatantly wanting to, to head, you know, high, head high, high yeah. or uh, it's really dangerous, then that's where you get the red cards. Yeah. Now it's getting to the point where we're going to be analysing every tackle, right? Right, And then you're going to go, oh, he kind of moved down. Yeah. Oh, he kind of did, did this. You know, that's my view on it. Right. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's just getting too soft. Yeah. And you're like stopping the game. And then it's wrecking it because then you don't have a proper game. No fluidity, you got, eh? You got a red card. Yeah. Right. Right. You got a red card and then you're out for like 60 minutes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I reckon that point. red car, <laughs> yeah. that red car will, with the 20 minutes, I reckon that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Because then you can still play. You still can bring a player. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a better game for everyone to exactly. watch. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Man, speaking of red cards, you played with Dylan Hartley. And <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, some of the stuff uh, he did like honestly it. back then back then some of the stuff he did oh wait yeah <laughs> if there was oh, <laughs> there was be, a grub eh? <laughs> there'll be <laughs> two <laughs> was a grub <laughs> there'll be two was weeks but he was on my side yeah yeah, yeah. That he was, was an A grade grub so he's he was some, a um, red of raw grub yeah he's yeah. from yeah. Redders eh? red of raw grub Redders but he there was a few oh there was one Saints game we he got he got red early mm. and they still won the game. That was probably like, you ah uh, yeah. yeah, that was a that was a, against Leicester too. Yeah, but then he did it against um, Leicester in the, in the final. finals. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh that's God. right, Leicester. In the <laughs> what? What was that like? Because um, you know, uh, I think like for for a lot of us watching watching you guys back then, um, you know, Leicester f Leicester is like. Uh, 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 another team for Samoans just like purely because of the Tui Lungis, Lungis. Yeah. Right. like you know you, you only really know Leicester because of the Tui Lungis, um, yeah. on, on well at least in this part of the world um, what was that like that that, that um, local derby you guys would have against them and, and what were those battles like but it was like it was like the battle of the bridge here yeah mm. but like it was always Northampton with the harbour yeah and Auckland <laughs> with the Leicester oh, yeah, with the, yeah. 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 The, the, that's the what it was yeah. and like there were massive derbies mm. massive derbies but we never like I probably only beat them twice True. out of the probably six seven times we played right. hey you know so it really is Harbour Auckland yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really is Harbour Auckland yeah, yeah. Okay, but like the times that we we beat them really hey, like it was like mean, wow yeah. that semi-final that semi yeah, the yeah. semi-final oh. you know but yeah they were just a powerhouse Leicester even around that time they, yeah this is a team they had gone to the finals eight times in a row yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So they had, and then they had all the old legends and yeah, English yeah. legends in their team. So like those derbies, oh, mm. that, that you'll only get up for those derbies, really. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Obviously, you playing well in the, in the Hampton jersey, you were able to bring over your brother. Um, what was that like? Obviously, you have your wife there at the time, but I, I can... You know, probably say there's no there's a different sort of love having your your own blood there your brother there and yeah. you're able to bring him across to play mm. with yeah. you at the Saints um, what was that like? it was like again okay I felt like family like another family my, my, my family's there mm. yeah. I felt um, felt more of a home mm. hey felt more of a home and also um, you know Kenny's career hey yeah. Kenny, Kenny's career was probably at a standstill here um, he was going to go through sevens going through um you know, you just wouldn't get past the NPC, the NPC yeah, stage, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. So we were able to, get, uh, I was able to get in that opportunity. Obviously, you know, he he's the one that, that got it, right? Yeah, you know, but it was put in a good name, and then you know he was able to get that opportunity, and you know he, he played out of he his mind. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he hey. So he a few, you know, uh, yes, you can say that. Um, oh yeah, you know, he put in a good word. But in the end, he he's the one that made it. Yep. Yeah, he's the one that he's the one that put in the work. Okay. And and, yeah. and then you you know you end up with your brother at work. Tell us about what that was like. There must have been some funny days. You <laughs> <should> just. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think growing up in our church, <laughs> okay, with our mocking Z, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like next level. Uh, it's next yeah, level, Lee. Like you, it's next level. So thick skin, real fast. Yeah. So some of like the Aussie boys here eh, or like, you know, like we had like um Salisi Maafu and <laughs> Sabu Sabu Manoa Sabu from Manu. Manu. Hey, like those <laughs> boys. Valley eh. boys. Like, Shout out to the Toko oh, man. Mate, some of our mockings. <laughs> hey, like us is funny but you think, sorry, this guy's gonna give me a hiding. <laughs> eh. yeah. Like Sabu Manoa was, was that type, you know. But I think he, he got used to it. Right. 
Hey, I like it. Bro, that guy was an athlete, bro. Samu, Samu Manoa, like that. Peak bro. Samu Manoa was like oh, world class. I was like, when the, when I met him, I was like, this kid from um, from America, you know, mm. they're saying, oh, yeah. You know, little do you know, he, did you know that he was, he just got out of prison like six <laughs> months ago? <laughs> 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 Yo, <laughs> Sam, my guy. Sally, and I was like, I was like, Sally, who was this dude? Yeah. Sally, cause he 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 was actually down at um the Seder's A. Like he had come down to. He was telling me He's he playing. went down there like to to try and yeah. crack it there. Try and crack it. Try and crack it. The yeah, there and stuff. Down in um, Christchurch. Yeah, in Christchurch. Down in Christchurch. So, man. Was that before the pin? <laughs> <laughs> then he had to go back for us. <laughs> he, he's an athlete, but bro, that guy's yeah. a drinker oh, too, oh, man. Oh. No, but that was a team, eh? Yeah. That, that team. And then you had Khan and, and um, Mina's cousin, Fatsuina. Sorry, man. What a guy, yeah, eh? He's an avatar. But, um, an avatar. That 2014 yeah. championship took us through that. That mm. was like... Mm. Um, but I'll say, like, when I got there in 2011, it was in Soane. Soane and uh, yeah, some hey. of the islanders, eh? What was, um, Soane? Soane, 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 Soane Tunga Huya. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. he in, like, his 33rd season? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I played so forever. He was, he was like, there with Carlos the, and, like... Yeah. He was the original yeah. islander there. Yeah. Yeah. So there wasn't many islanders that went through there, eh? So then, um, they obviously, they got Sabu, then they got me in there. Yeah. Mm. And then Kenny came. And then after, you know, we started playing well for the team. So they were able to bring Some in guys like Khan. Yeah. Did you know, um, th- did you have like, uh, or did you did you hear any of those whispers? Like oh, when Khan, Khan, like, Khan you know, because obviously you guys would have already played Manu together. Yeah. Or had he like reached out and said like he's looking? Yeah, so um, Khan didn't want, like he got offered some big money at Montpellier. Mm. Mm. Hey, but he, he still wanted to, he wanted to play in... England. In England, because mm. yeah, he was he was at Osprey's DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when I heard that, oh, Khan's coming, I was like, Raga was like, Tully, are you coming to guess? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not. Oh, next next week he's coming. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we get it, okay? yeah, get it, get it, Marky Yeah, yeah, okay? Marky signing. Yeah. <laughs> <Marquee signing, yeah. laughs> did, did you did you kind of look at that team at the start of the season and be like, I think we can give this a crack or? Yeah. Oh yeah, because we got we had um, George, George North. North. Yeah, mm. hey, we had George North. So, well, Maki signings were kind of George North. Eh? Yeah. So you guys under the salary cap? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no comment. What no dealings comment. are happening there? No eh? Side dealings, eh? <laughs> Side dealings. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're under the salary cap. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a way. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the morale, eh? Yeah, you guys. Nah, like yeah, we had a we had a mean team. We had a good team, mate. Eh? Yeah. And I think um, there you. Yeah, we only lost probably a couple of games. I mean, like you, you guys had like yeah, George North, like you were saying, Khan was there, Courtney Laws was there, yeah. Dylan, um, Milo. Yes, Milo was playing. Milo. Uh, um, Burrell was starting to play Burrell. really well as well. Burrell was all in the England team. Yeah, yeah, they all Burrell. went to play England. Yeah. Oh, That's um, crazy. Uh, what should we Ben? Um, Foden. Ben Foden. Ben Foden. Foden. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys Jenny had some the guns. And then then we had Cobb Zero. Yep. Yeah. Alex A. Yeah, tour, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Proper like, And he was, yeah, and then, and then Dylan uh, Hartley Skipper. Yeah, yeah. so like, Bob were, were you? Bafu, I mean, Sally <laughs> Sorry, shout out to Les. Bob Bafu and, uh. Bob, well, were you kind of looking at the team that season or, um, yeah, like, is that, is that a thing that you do? Like, bro, I think we can actually go all the way. Nah, I th- I, it's, it's funny because the season before, mm. okay, the season before, we, the mm-hmm. we had, um, we made the finals. We made the final, eh? yeah. Our, as a team, like our, our motto or like our, like our, our kind of, uh, what would you say? Culture. Yeah. We're like, it was, it was about, it was, it was why not us? That was yeah. kind of, mm. uh, what we're talking yeah, about. Because yeah. we're always, we're the always the second, motto. second place. Yeah. 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 Hey, we always fell short. Right yeah. Kind of mm-hmm. stuff. And it was, um, and that's what we kind of based everything on. Was like, why not us? Mm. You know, and uh, going into that season, we made the final. We made the final against Leicester, and then that red card happened. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. You know, in the first yeah. half. Eh? First half. And then we lost the LV Cup that year too. Yeah, that's you know, right. Eh? The finals there. And then um, we went, and then the following year, that's when we got Khan. Yeah. That's yeah. We got George North. And I was like, yeah. okay, this might be the missing puzzles. <laughs> yeah. The, you know, for our team. Was, yeah. was, was that... Um, I I think was it Leicester then that year that like was that the team that you guys had to beat to know like okay w- was there any teams like that that you like if we beat these guys I know that we have a chance Saracens were like Saris were playing out of their there, minds too right Saris yeah I was Saracens were the team to beat yeah mm. Leicester yeah those oh, are the two so we, we won the semis hey, you, mm. remember, you gotta remember we won the semis and then we had to play in um Emlyn Cup, like when we played against yeah. Bath, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys one? won, yeah, yeah. Hey, so we we played that final. Hey, so we won that game, mm. and we're like, oh, some of us are like, we were happy just yeah, just we yeah, won yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we had the Premiership final the week after. Mm. Hey, the week after. Yeah. So even going into that game, we're like, ah, oh, yeah, last game of the year. Yeah, you know, we'd been through three finals. I think we lost the LV Cup mm. game too as well. Um, but what do you call it? Going into that final, we're like, oh, bro, we just got to give it everything. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. This is where, like, num- game number 35 <laughs> for the of year. The year yeah. 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 Of the year. Is the body feeling game. it at that point? Mm, not in final. Oh, I think, yeah, I was. Yeah. Mm. Mm. My calf wasn't right, but I still played. Yeah. yeah. I think it only lasted, like, 50, 60 minutes. Mm. Hey. Kenny was on one that, that game. Mm. Yeah. Kenny was yes. on in that game. Yeah. But see, those boys played 90 minutes. Yeah. Right. Because it went into overtime. Mm. Yeah. It went into overtime. Yeah, that's right. Couldn't believe it. I was like, I was sitting there going, fuck it, going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But even the, yeah. But yeah. even when they scored the try, yeah. mm. even when they scored the try, I was like, go for the drop kick. <laughs> go for yeah. the drop kick. <laughs> Let's try to win on now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not the first thing. Yeah. Talk us through what it was like, what the feeling of winning. You know, because I hear with um, a lot of professional athletes, once they reach the top, you know, there's that feeling of relief sometimes, but then there's other athletes that kind of like, oh, is I did it. it. Is that <laughs> it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, what was it like for you? What What did it feel like? I think, like, like I said before, you know, with the why not us, yeah. mm. it, it was that feeling of relief. Mm. Eh? Mm. Because we had, we'd gone for it um, and we're always second place. Or um, you know, the, uh, along those lines, and right. like never, never winning something, and then winning the Premiership for the first time. You got to remember, like Northampton fans, they're yeah. out of this world. Like, yeah, yeah. it's just it's a rugby town, right? Yeah. Okay, yes, these football like the Cobblers, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the football team. So, so like third, fourth division, <laughs> third, fourth division, but get paid the same as the <laughs> rugby players. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and um. Like they played Man United and no one went to the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Rooney and all they were playing there and they didn't go to the game. You know, and they'll be at the pass for, for Northampton. So for for um to win it for them, hey, mm. hey if you saw our our um parade when we came back, you know, on that Sunday being half cut, um <laughs> yeah. so like, oh, it was mean. Yeah. Like it was yeah, it was a sigh of relief, I yeah. reckon. That's cool. Yeah. That's and, and then, uh, like following that, um, you know, you, you spend a little bit more time at, at the Saints, and and you, you run to a few other injuries, mm. um, and eventually you you end up moving on, <coughs> and I guess this kind of brings you to, um, well, not not too long ago, right? about five six years ago now, mm. um, I, for for someone who has done this since you were like you know as young as five six eh? as long yeah. as you can remember that's that's a, all you've done rugby and um what was it like or wh- when did you realize um that it was coming to an end for you or starting to slow down mm. it was it was at the the western force eh? mm-hmm. when i when i moved over to perth um you know i was still you know i was still my body was still able you know i came when i came back and i, I was here for for harbour you know, but I was still getting little niggly injuries. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I went to the West of Force and then um I just started getting like small injuries there, like I pulled I pulled my hammy, pull my groin. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. And then right. first game in I play against um the Ripples. I go smash um what's his name? 
Pale Sesa, oh, what's the name? Pale, Pale, Pale Sami. Pale Sami. When he was playing for the Rebels, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He was a young kid playing for the Rebels. I popped my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And like, I'm, I, I think my body was giving, like, was slowly giving up. Slowly giving up mm. but, but my mind was still there. Yeah. Right. Mm. But then I was more scared of, what am I going to do now? Mm. Hey, it's that transition but it's just like this is what I've been doing for the past 14, 15 years yeah hey and um, now it's just like okay what do I do mm. did it ever cross your mind at any point in your career or were you so um, engrossed in, in rugby that you weren't even thinking about like what's next yeah um, no probably when we when I had that um when we came back the first time in 2000 after my after Northampton mm. that that at that time because I had I had gone to Stade Francais um and and I did I, d I did a medical there um and then I was like oh yeah we're moving to I'm signing France. a two-year deal in France mm. you know and that time um the family were in Fiji we're in Fiji and we're on holiday and so when that fell through into uh, like, you know, I, I didn't get it because they had a new owner come in and on the day that I was going to sign it, a new owner had taken over. Oh. oh man. And then so he didn't want it, like he didn't know who I was. He didn't want, he wanted to go through, you know, the things himself. And I was like, oh, you know, that's the time when I thought, oh man, um, this might be it for me. Mm. Yeah, this might be it, but I'm going to still pray and, and hope mm. that. Yep. You know, something comes up. Yeah. Something comes up. So then, that time when I was in limbo, hey, um, I felt like I should have, I should have done something, right? Hey, to prepare myself. But at that time, you're in denial. Yeah, mm. hey, sure. Yeah, you're in denial, and you're like, ah, oh, nah, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll get something. Yeah, I'll get something. You know, but you also got to think as a rugby player, hey, you're only seen from your last game. Mm. Hey, mm. I didn't even want to see your highlights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was you like a year ago. Mm. Where are you now? How fast that turnaround is, eh? Like, yeah, big time. When yeah. when that contract fell through, how did you navigate through the disappointment or the maybe just the knowing, like, man, this this might be it for me? Like, yeah. you know, how did you get whole, through yeah. that whole situation? Uh, the, the the force happened straight after that, or was nah. it? So I was in limbo then, eh? So I went through to Harbour, and I was in the Harbour. Uh, NBC team. I didn't yep. play a game. I started getting injured, injured in there, and then I was playing for the development. You know, just mm. to get some game time and yep. that. Um, but to never get uh, like my wife was the big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my wife was the was the big, big thing because she was being with me like through those times. Those, through the ups those, and yeah, the and then, but I also I also like kind of turned to to alcohol as well. Mm. Hey, so I was like wanted to catch up with the boys and that but it was all through alcohol mm. hey like i'll get totally smashed mm. hey and i was in denial like you know you're you you're a bit depressed mm. my wife would tell me straight like you're depressed and i was like nah i'm all right <laughs> yeah. what are you talking about yeah. yeah you know that kind of stuff i was like what are you talking about it's not me yeah you know it's like and then i realized you guys you know when you're playing and when you're a thing you were never the strong or you never got like this mm -hmm. you know like and i was like oh but you know i'm not training as much anymore I'm doing, you know yeah. yeah so i started making up excuses yeah i yeah. making up excuses to kind of cover up you know um I, th I think it was more so that you know um i wasn't able to provide for yep. my wife the way kids, that you know yeah the way that i it's know it's a big thing for a man eh? right. hey, so that kind of stuff um mm. i felt like man now how am I gonna do this? Mm. Hey, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna navigate in a way where um, I'm gonna get back to where I was? Yep. You know, that kind of And it was, yeah, it was tough, bro. Mm. It was tough. Well, what was the? I guess the. So you, I mean, you mentioned already um, having your your wife there, and I'm sure that you you would have tapped into a lot of what you learned to, as a young person from mum and dad. Mm. Um, <coughs> And, and tapping into those support systems but what was what was it that made you kind of pause and say okay look like really look at yourself in the mirror mm. and say like you know I need to 
figure out what I want to do next or what was it that made you do that? Oh, I was saying my wife again because mm. we sat down she goes, what are your goals? Yeah. What, are your goals? yeah, what are your goals? You know, mm. some of those Christians here like kind of hide from you, like oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Win another championship? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, get signed in the next year. <laughs> now, now it's like now you're fully retired. Mm. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then like, like you said, I was going back to you know the values that I learned from my parents was hard work. Mm-hmm. Hey, so I went and worked for um, Stoves. Yeah, my kids. Shout out to CPH, baby. CPH, you know, giving that opportunity to us, you know, yeah, just to yeah. get back on your feet. Yeah, and you know, I'm, uh, I'm real thankful for that, mm. for, for Stoves and and, mm. and and for Lipo and Basco for um, you know, giving giving us that opportunity to kind of find our feet again. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. know, and it, uh, it wasn't. Yeah, you didn't get paid. It's hard work. It's hard work. Mm, yeah. yeah, but it's humbling. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. But it's what we're all about, like in terms of hard work, work ethic, and what you want to do. Mm, yeah. So when I was I was doing that, and, and it just just was like, okay, we gonna sit down. Yeah. <laughs> what are your goals? What do you want to do? Mm. Hey, and then I was just like, oh, I want to do this in rugby, like in terms of. I wanted to do like a uh, rugby academy, right? You know, yeah. for for school and, and and that kind of stuff. And goes, yep. So how are you gonna do it? And it's like, oh, <laughs> get some qualifications, yeah. And right. So, so yeah, where do you go from there? Yeah. Who do you, who can you tap into? Like you know, oh, yeah. who can you call? Yep. And I was just like, okay. So this was just giving me like all these questions on you know your networks, use your networks, what you can do. And then I tapped into. Uh, to my lawyer and he was talking about uh, my lawyer Tipi and he was talking about you know you can do this yeah. um, you can do this degree mm. you know and then you know that that was that was the aim to get my get my qualifications mm-hmm. and then you know God works in mysterious ways he, oh, he does always. he hey, does so then I was able like um, my old the, old the deputy principal at Massey was like can you come in and talk to our um you know talk about your life and encourage our um our pacifica kids mm. and at that talk was was me adesanya oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. eugene berman yeah and yep. then another um some oscar i don't know some other guy sorry mm. sorry mm. so <laughs> <Oscar Niley? laughs> yeah so Is then i was oscar able winning. to talk there hey eh? and that was i uh, say so say this was july i was able to talk there um you know spoke and then uh, I'd say probably in August, um, the principal rang me, the one that I went down to Wellington to go yeah, see. Yeah, so yeah. He rang me, goes, "What would you, um, would you consider working at Messi High as a, like a non-teaching dean, you know, doing that pastoral stuff?" And honestly, I was just like, "Nah, mm-hmm. nah." But at that time, we were going to, um, we were going to Oz for um, grandparents' birthday. Mm. Hey, so we went to Oz, and I was like, "Oh, let me think about it," and then I'll come back because I was like that's not me I'm not about pastoral, yeah. pastoral stuff I don't know yeah. anything about it yeah, yeah. hey I, I wanted just to do rugby because I, I thought that's what I knew yeah Um. and then I was like talked to Jess about it I was like this is a great opportunity for you right hey you've had your life experiences in terms of being able to um, you know go overseas play with different players different personalities yeah, yeah. yeah. different yeah. relationships kind of sure. different relationships and what it means to be a, a part of a team and this is what it is mm. hey um, so I was like yep called him up went in and then well it's history eh? yeah. yeah but when Are I went into it I'll be honest when I went into it I didn't want nothing to do with rugby right mm. yeah. what was that I, hated um, I think I hated the culture that was happening there Mm. You resented it. Uh, yeah, uh, like I wanted just to focus on. I, I, I wanted to be a job. partial D. Yeah, right. I wanted to focus on that. So mm. anything to do with rugby, I was like, mm, like that's 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 easy for me because you know I've yeah. done it so long. But like I just wanted to focus, focus on, on the job. Yeah, mm. and then um, obviously, obviously, um, Dwayne, Dwayne Toko, you yeah, know, yeah, one of the yeah. other deans, he became first a dean coach. And he approached me and he was just like, um, and he's a leaguey boy, hey. Right. He doesn't know much about rugby, but he knows heaps about culture. Mm. Hey. And then I believed in what he wanted to bring to uh, to Messi High. Right. Yeah. Hey, he goes, I need to change this culture of yeah, this yeah. team. Hey. Mm-hmm. Um, 
boys are rocking up when they want to. Yeah. Right. You know, still, you know, thinking that they've won stuff. They haven't won anything since 2011. Mm. And right. this is, what, 2019? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? That right. kind of stuff. So that royalty kind of, um, first royalty was yeah. like mm. strong there. Yeah, so yeah. they're living off your hype. Back yeah. Back. yeah. <laughs> so they're living off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> of, what, of, what? Ray and that's <laughs> of Ray and that side. Mark Tillera and Zavita Lee. Zavita Lee. So, uh, and, and like, I didn't want to be a part of it until, you know, he talked about that kind yep. of side of it. And I was like, yep, that's me then. That's how I want to be into it. And, and so you, you know, you, you decide to retire, um, you get qualified, uh, you end up at your alma mater and, <laughs> you know, you, you end up working with a lot of these kids, and especially in pastoral <laughs> care. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, a few of us can speak here in our experiences um and working with with young people in, in a school setting um uh, yeah it's not the easiest work um but i, I will say in my experience it, it is some of the more rewarding work in yeah. life and yeah. has that been your experience and what's it been like giving back to um, your community and, and hopefully the next george bc somewhere <laughs> in <laughs> rewarding yes hey it's like um i think the beauty of it is that you see a lot of kids that you like, oh, um, they were exactly like you back at prim- uh, uh, high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, man, I was exactly like you, eh? Yeah. But there was never someone that was able to like navigate, mm, no, help yeah. you navigate like through you, it, and go. Yeah. Oh, that's not the way, man. <laughs> I'm telling you now, bro. Don't go that way. You know that kind of stuff. Stop yeah. vaping in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All that kind of stuff, eh? Hey, so it's just like, but I think um, what. Well, what works to our advantage is that, you know, we're, we're from the same community. Mm. Right. Hey, so yeah. these kids, yeah. hey, so these kids, you know, it's not a, like, a balangi man telling him. Right. You know, this man that's got rich telling him, oh, you're doing this, you're doing yep. this wrong. You know, with someone that's your next door neighbor or something yeah. Yeah. telling him, right, this is, you're in those spaces now, this is not the right path, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, I think that's the difference, and um, and I think just building this relationship with the kids. Yeah, honestly, these kids are funny. Eh? <laughs> 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 oh, funny, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like funny, eh? you funny in another way <laughs> <laughs> too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's rewarding, man. Mm. Yeah, you all know. Yeah, what's some of the um more difficult challenges that you're finding with with our younger generation now? And in particular, some of these young guns that think they they have it, <laughs> and they think that they walk around thinking that they're gonna make it. And, mm. and how do we prepare them for potentially a life in professional rugby, or the disappointment of m- maybe like not making it? Mm. I thought I've, like, honestly, I honestly, I'm I'm quite honest. Yeah, hey, with mm. our boys, mm. hey, so I either say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> you either got it or you ain't. Yeah. <laughs> No, you know no compliment sandwich. Straight, 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 yeah. straight, straight, you know what I mean? Shooter, From shooter, the straight, 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 <laughs> The yeah. blues are looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the blues are looking at you. Okay, maybe <laughs> harbor. Okay, for now, but at this stage, <laughs> you're not that guy. Yeah. You are not that guy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you can't pass leave. More like nah. The thing that I, I always say to to the boys is just more like, you know, you got to be coachable. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're coachable and you're um, teachable, then you know you can you'll grow mm. you know you always got to grow um and you know for a lot of a lot of our boys they need there's a lot of there's no resilience in our kids yeah these days. it the seems a common theme resilience. with young people yeah yep. hey so and, and i think they feel like um uh, they're entitled to it mm. yeah. Yeah. there's a little bit of entitlement and um and I don't know. It's it's probably because of the times and you yep. know, but back then you used to everything get to earn it. Yeah, mm. hey, it was like you do it the harder way, um, and then and that kind of you. That's where you build your resilience and build you know that right character. And yeah, mm. where nowadays it's like ah, you know, if it's not given, they're gonna push for it. Mm. Yeah, they'll give yeah. up and they'll go do something else. Right. Hey, so how do we, um, how do we navigate our our young men and especially in our rugby and all that and our pro like what we what we talk about how do we navigate them into um 
doing the best at that, getting the best versions of them. Yep. Yeah. Hey, getting the best versions of them. And that's character. Yep. Mm. Good person. I said, bro, rugby's easy. Right. Rugby's gotta be easy. Good, gotta hey, be a good person. Be a really? good person and you know, you're coachable and teachable, mate. You yeah, can do anything. Yeah. yeah, you can do anything. Because then you're going to workplaces, other things, and you'll be able to adapt. You know, real easy, that mm. kind of stuff. So, and that's yeah, it. you know, that's we're taking advice. that model yeah, of better people make better rugby players. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, 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 that's what it is. Eh? Yeah, like actually, rugby c- comes quite naturally to some of our kids, but it's actually like learning the. To mm. be a better person and, and a better teammate. Yeah. Well, that, that's and 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 I think we talked about this before and and that like you know sports is just a vehicle, eh? Yeah. For, yeah. for a lot of these kids and to use it for um, a positive outcome, especially in improving mm. our, our young people and um, you know all areas of life and and not just um, in the sport itself, mm. eh? Helping using that sport to help them grow outside of that as well is really cool, um, and. You know, just in, in what you're saying there, I can hear um, everything you've you've talked about as far as what you've learnt. Um, you know, watching your parents as a mm. young person and the humble beginnings that yep. you you've yep. had um, through to to growing, um, developing those relationships and and really building um, solid support systems and mm. surrounding yourself with good people. Um, to then you know being able to see the world and and do what you love. Yep. Uh, make yeah, s- make oh some man. memories and, mm. and meet some really not many people can yeah say not that. many yeah, people yeah. can <laughs> say that um, you've gone to to meet you know and, and even play alongside some of the mm. greatest rugby players of of our time and um, for you to be able to come and share that perspective with us you know yeah. on behalf of the YDP boys and our YDP faithful just really grateful yep. um, for the time um, and, and just the the sharing itself you know a lot of these stories. Um, um, people tend to keep because mm. you know it, it doesn't really belong to anyone else. Oh, but for you to come and share that with us, um, we're truly honoured. Um, and we just prepared a little something. Nah, we didn't. <laughs> 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 it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> wait, wait. Now nah, before we wrap it up, hey, your all-time backline of all the players you've yeah. ever played with. Oh, Boys. like of all time, you played okay. with some greats. Yeah. You probably played against um, even uh, bigger players, but. Just players that you've played, played alongside. Then let's bring it in. Let's let's come in at nine. Who do you have at nine? Shakes. I go for fat singer Cam Futsali. Yes, have to, have <laughs> to, Khan, uh, man, have to. It's a, it's a uh, nice. And then so you got Khan there, like everyone knows Khan. Yeah, mm. um, the the, the, yeah. the caliber of player he is. So who do you have at at ten? Fly half. Fly half? I have to put my brother yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise you're good gonna call. Hide yeah. Yeah. Good call. I hope you're too. watching too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, too. Obviously, yeah. Um, yeah. who's your your midfield midfield pairing? Take yourself out of it. Just yeah. Yeah. Say Lala. Say Lala. Yeah. yeah. Say oh. Lala at twelve. Mm-hmm. And then um, thirteen. What at thirteen? Thirteen can be who you played with or someone that you've played against. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Since it's hard for you to decide, eh? I'll put Manu there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Too longy. Yeah. Manu too longy. Yeah. It's like Have a two. thorn in my. Back. <laughs> 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 hey. I'll so is Manu he hard to tackle? Because he look. So have you seen his legs? <laughs> yeah, that's true <laughs> chunks. Eh? Hey, yeah. Game no game. So yeah. 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 Um, and then I put. I have to put Kenny on yeah. one wing. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. yeah. I have to put Kenny on one wing, and then I will put Alessandro on the other. Yeah. yeah. But I put Isan at the back. Nice. But I will say, I'll, sorry, I'll change Manu for Isaiah. Sorry, oh, yeah. mm. Ice man, Ice man. Ice man. Yep. Really? Yeah. Was choice. he that guy? He was that guy. Yeah, he was. He was that guy. He, he was one of those guys that's just a natural. Like, I just had, it seemed like he had so much time. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he ran with the ball. Yeah. Hey, even though his feet were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, big with yeah, big with FIFA. So he was. So uh, he had some unreal seasons with the Blues. Yeah, who, who, who would you say? Like, you know, if we look at the greatest leaders in in, in the history of the world, right? These are guys that people are like, look at them and say, "I will die for that person," right? Like, I'll follow that person <laughs> into any battle. Mm. Who would you say is like, in your opinion, has has been your best captain? Where like. He just has the team, mm. and and it's just like, 
leads by example, sets the tone, and and mm. yeah, who who's one captain that you say like I'd follow that guy anywhere? I say Kevin Merlamo. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Like yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. terms of action wise, yeah. And I'll say Phil Dows. You know, he's the he's the coach of um, Northampton now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, but he used to do the best speeches. Really? <laughs> free game. <laughs> free game speeches <laughs> or game speeches, honestly. You talk and then you're like... <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. My calf's not sore. <laughs> <laughs> River. Nah, man. But uh, again, let's just thank you for, for the time. Thank you for, um, thank you for being here, man. And, and we're honoured, truly. Um, to all our YDP uh, faithful as always you can catch us on our social media platforms YouTube uh, TikTok Instagram YDP um, podcast and for your mom and dad on Facebook <laughs> but that's us <laughs> <laughs> that's us for today brothers let's go <laughs>